Howdy, I am Pete Thorne, and I'm here today to talk about Matrix guitar amplification. So Matrix makes killer guitar-oriented power amps. Um, you can see I've got an Axe FX2 sitting here and two Matrix power amps, the GT800 FX and the GT1000 FX. Um, basically, uh, one of the most common applications for a power amp like this will be plugging an Axe FX or similar modeling unit into one of these power amps, and then you could run out into uh, guitar cabinets, like say a 412 or something, or into a full range PA cabinet if you wanted to and use speak speaker simulation within the modeler. Um, another common application for a power amp like this would be uh, to use say like a, uh, a large 100 watt head or something, slave it, load it down and uh, run a line level output out into one of the power amps and then out into a guitar cabinet you can get the sound of your 100 watt cranked head at a super reasonable volume. So we're going to look at that application as well. So both the GT1000FX and GT800FX are Class AB MOSFET design power amps with quite flat frequency response, but yet they were designed by Matrix to mimic tube guitar power amps. Now we all know how unruly it can be carrying around a big giant heavy tube guitar power amp in your rack. It's hard on your back. These are around 8 pounds each. It's unbelievable how light they are and they run super cool and yet they're uh, 400 watts a side for the GT800 and 500 a side into 4 ohms for the uh, GT1000. So super powerful. You're, you're not going to have any problems with enough volume. Uh, that is for sure. They both sound a little different so I'm going to show you all the tone examples through, uh, through each of them back to back and you can decide which one you like. I'd be happy with either and they sound fantastic and they're very close in sound.
Okay, this section of the video is all about slaving. So what is slaving? Well, it's uh, when you've got a great big uh, tube amp, like a 50 or 100 watt uh, Marshall style or something. I'm using my Sur SL68 in this case. And you want to bring the sound down to a reasonable level and uh, make it very controllable. Uh, also, maybe add some effects to the sound, like maybe a bit of EQ or reverb and shape the tone a bit. So slaving works great for this. Um, basically what you need to do is run the output of your tube amp into a load resistor, okay, instead of a speaker cabinet. The load resistor is going to suck all that energy off the amp and give you a line level out of the amp sound, okay? And then you can take that line level out and run it maybe through some effects. In this case I'm using a uh, MXR 10 band EQ to shape the tone a bit and a uh, Strymon Blue Sky Reverb to add a bit of verb to the sound. And I'm coming out of the reverb into the Matrix Power Amp and I can slowly bring up the volume and you know the output of the power amp is running into my speaker cabinet. I can get the tone of my SL68 at any volume level and also add some effects and whatnot to the sound and shape it with the EQ. So slaving's really, really cool. I'm gonna show you what it sounds like now. Okay, so I got the SL68 running in the load box, line level out through the EQ and reverb, which are off right now. You're not hearing them yet. Okay, I'll show you those in a minute. Uh, out into the matrix power amp, it's set on about three, and this is my tone. <laughs> Okay, it's pretty much raging British rock tone nirvana. I love it. Um, and once again, you get this sound at any volume. So let's bring the volume and the matrix way down. You know, so if you're playing in front of the TV at night, you don't want to bug your uh, sleeping baby or whatever your situation is. You can do that. Um, the other great thing about this setup is the EQ and reverb options and whatever else you want to put in line there. You can put a delay, all kinds of different uh, things. Uh, I'm going to shape the sound with the EQ a little bit. I've got a bit of a smile curve going on the MXR right now, taking out a little bit of mids, adding some lows, and it just makes it sound a bit more rock. Sounds like this. <laughs> Okay. Sounds great. I love it. The EQ is fantastic. This amp sounds great no matter what, but if you got an amp that's a little bit hurting, you can totally tweak the tone using an EQ. Um, uh, Blue Sky Reverb now, if I add that, I'm adding a bit of plate reverb. Okay, big fan of slaving. I think it sounds great. Okay, I wanted to mention I'm using the Faustine Phantom Attenuator here as my load box today. It's also got a built-in line out, so it makes it very uh, easy to, to do this type of setup with. Uh, there's a number of different units uh, that you can use uh, that are on the market uh, to load down your amp. Okay, then also get a line out level signal. The THD hot plate, the Comet air brake, um, the Aircom attenuator, all these come to mind. But you can also, from some electronic supply stores, get a fixed load that you can plug your amp into that has uh, a built-in line out on them. So it doesn't have to be an expensive or exotic option is what I'm getting at. Uh, you can find something that will fit in almost any budget to load down an amp and get a line level signal out. All right, thanks for watching my video on the Matrix Power Amps. I think they're fantastic. I'm going to be using this GT1000 in my rig personally, uh, both with the Axe Effects and also in my Wet Dry Wet Rig. And if I ever do a slaving setup like this, uh, I wouldn't hesitate to use it. I think it sounds fantastic. And the, uh, the, the eight pound weight does not hurt. Um, they're, they're just killer power amps and I'm really sold on them. So uh, that's the Matrix GT1000 and GT800 FX. See ya.